Capturing Swing Data. To capture swing data, you navigate to the Measure Motion Setup screen. Check that the system is set up correctly. Navigate to the Measure screen. Calibrate the player. Finally, capture data. There are individual videos here that explain each of these steps in detail. Navigating to the Measure Motion Setup screen. To capture swings, you first navigate to the Measure screen. On this screen, you ensure your system is ready to capture. You can navigate to the screen in two ways. If you're on the Client Manager screen, click the Measure Client button. If you're on the Home screen, click the Measure button. The Measure Motion Setup screen. Before you start a capture session, you need to ensure your system is set up correctly. It is for this purpose that the Measure Motion Setup page was created. Now, check in the column on the left side of the page that the correct player is loaded. You'll see the player's name with a check beside it. That you are indeed in the baseball capture software. That the sensors are connected to the software. If all of these check out, then you're ready to capture data. Click the Go Measure button now to navigate to the measure screen. The Measure Baseball Swing screen. On the screen, you'll see motion tiles and the baseball avatar. In later videos, we'll teach you how to change the number of tiles and their content. Calibrating the player. Before capturing swings or working with biofeedback activities, you must calibrate. Calibrating sets your sensors so the data that you capture, the biofeedback training, and the avatar on the screen are accurate. We've made the calibration process extremely fast and easy. All you need to do is position the player properly and then press the Calibrate button. To position the player and calibrate, get the player to stand up straight at military attention parallel to the target line or if training in the orientation in which they will be performing the activity. Ensure that the player is standing straight upright, no slouching, with both arms hanging straight down, close against the sides of the body. Have the player hold the baseball bat across their thighs, parallel to the ground, pointing down an imaginary line parallel to the target. Make sure the lead hand with the hand sensor holds the handle of the bat, not the barrel. Position the hand sensor vertically or straight up and down with the front of the sensor also parallel to the intended target line. Press the blue Calibrate button in the upper right corner of the screen. Your system is now calibrated. The avatar on the screen will now look like and move like the player. It's that easy. Double checking the sensors are in the right pockets. Once you have calibrated, the movement of the avatar on the screen will match the movement of the player. If the player moves a body segment and a different body segment of the avatar moves on the screen, it means sensors are in the wrong pockets. All you have to do to fix this is put the sensors in the right pocket and calibrate again. Auto Capturing Data The system's default setting is Auto Capture. In auto capture mode, you'll hear a ding that tells you the system is ready to capture swings. Once you hear that ding sound, the data from the next swing the player makes will be automatically captured. A pop-up box will let you know that data has been captured for a swing. That's right, capturing data is that easy. Using manual capture mode. There are two capture modes, auto capture and manual. You'll see a green arrow in the upper right corner of the screen that tells you if you're in auto capture mode. Click on it and a red X appears and the word auto goes dim. This is how you change to manual capture mode. In manual capture mode, the capture process is press the capture button, then follow the spoken directions. To switch back to auto capture, just click the auto capture button. The green check will reappear and the auto button will be highlighted again. You'll also hear the ding announcing the system is ready to capture. Capturing and training your own swing. 
When using K-Baseball, we recommend that you practice on yourself or a fellow coach. There are timers in the system to enable you to do this. All you do to set up and use timers is press the menu button in the upper left-hand corner of the capture or live training screens. Click Timer Options. Select the number of seconds you want the system to wait for you to perform an activity. Save your changes. You're ready to go.